Hi there, once again, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create functions. Okay, so we're going to talk, basically talk about functions and what Python, what they are, and then how we can create one. Okay, we'll look at how we can create functions in Python and then also add some parameters to our functions. Okay, so a functions are blocks of code that perform a specific task. So let's say we want to run a code. Anyway, we want to use that particular code. We just call the function and then it's going to do that for us. So let's see how we can do that in a bit. Okay, so this is my Jupyter notebook, which is in Anaconda. Basically, this is what I used. Basically, this is what I used to write all my Python code. You can actually use PyCharm and even VLC code editor to do your coding but i prefer to go with my jupyter notebook you can also download that and use okay so let's look how we can create functions and then how we can use them so to create a function in python you have to use what you call the dev so anytime you use this keyword python knows that you're going to create a function and then you need to assign every function a descriptive name so what a what the function is going to do just give it that name if the function is going to calculate two numbers, you give that name. Okay. So what we are going to do is that let's say this function is going to say hi. So let's just give that descriptive name. Say hi. And then you bring what? Your open and then closing bracket. And then you bring your colon. So everything that is going to follow this will be indented. So you can see everything that will be indented within this function. Everything that you type over here is going to be part of the function. So let's say print say welcome so when we type this and then anywhere we want to use this function we just have to call say hi and then it's going to say welcome okay so let me just call this function by saying hi so what is going to happen is i notice that my hi is not part of this function everything that is going to be part of this function is supposed to be what indented so this is out of my function so this is where i want to use my function so before that i can even print something so let me see print out of the function so let me just print this and then now we are going to know that we are out of the function before we are calling our function so when i run this you can see out of our function so our function that we call down here is saying what welcome so everything that will follow the function which is not indented is out of that function so basically this is how to create a function but at times that you make your code a bit more interactive anytime the person call the function the person have to enter something so we call those things parameters so you can assign a parameter so a parameter is just a piece of information given to that function so let's say if the person see hi when the person call the function the person will just enter the name so we're going to give a parameter to this function so when the person call this function the person is going to say what the person is going to type in the name there so if i type in my name this is a string so i type in my name while i call this function i can append this we call this concatenate so we want to concatenate this to our string so i'll say name so anytime i call this function, it's going to say welcome timothy okay so if i actually appended this to this so the name the parameter over here whatever the person is going to enter will say welcome that okay so when i print this function say welcome timothy let me add a, a bit of space over here and this will look decent if i run this welcome timothy so you can make this function more interactive by twisting certain things you can easily see so we want to in our program let's say for instance in our program we want to welcome people to our website you can easily write a simple function to do that once a person enters the name, so welcome to so and so. So, anywhere we want to use that function, we just call it. Let me make this function more interactive. I can see you can give more than one parameter. So, I can say, comma, let's say each. So, in this case, I can go ahead and say, append this again and say, you are, and then, or also, you can say, your each is. And then you can also append that age down here. So if you call this function and then you add your age, 
all you have to do is that when you come here you just have to add this so let me just enter the age and then let's run this so basically we're going to get some small issue over here the reason is that there is a string i want to append an integer to you can easily resolve this by converting this to the age which is a, an, an integer to a string just by using the str and then when i run this okay so i'm left with one i left this out so when i run this my code should be working now okay so you can see what is happening say welcome to your age is what 19 so this is just a simple code that will run once you call this function so I, if i want to repeat this function i can easily copy this function down another person can also just come and then call the same function and then type the name as well so let's say we have another person called godwin and then the age system so this is just a one function which is going to perform this so if i call this function anytime i call this function and enter the person's name if i enter another person and then i just put in the age over there it's just going to print this out in that order so this is a very simple function we don't need to be writing the entire code anytime we want to you just call that function and then it's going to do that for you so i'm just going to improve on this let's say we want to write a very simple function where anytime you enter your name it will automatically convert that name into a lowercase or uppercase for you so let's make this one look more exciting so let's see the name of our function is going to be it's going to be convert name convert name. so remember that your function we are given a name it should be a descriptive name and it should be one word you can't give a space between the two if you want to give a space it that you give another score to join or you can use a camel case you can just say this way or you can also decide to use what the pascal case so mostly i try using the camel case in creating my variables in all that so we're going to do this and then i have i'm going to give one parameter to this function but before that i want my function to be able to convert any name the person is going to type okay so i'm going to clear this out and then this time around i want to call the argument the parameter i'm going to convert the name into what i'm going to convert this name into a lowercase first. so let me see so the f names means what final names so i'm going to say this final name i'm going to take that parameter and say dot lower so what this means is that i'm going to pick this name the name the person is going to enter that's a parameter and then i'll convert that into a lowercase so if i come down here and i call my function despite or no matter how i enter my name if i enter in the caps it's actually going to convert the entire name into lowercase for me so over here that means i need to this is the variable now stop, uh, going to store my lowercase this is, so i have to append that so when i come down here and then i call this function remember the function you call it by a name name you use and then this morning i'll just type in timothy all in caps and let's see what is going to happen when i run this code it's actually going to convert timothy into a lowercase for me okay so you can say welcome timothy but my name this morning even though i type my name in caps try to convert everything into what lowercase so remember to subscribe to this channel don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get alerts anytime we upload a new content so you can easily do the opposite you can actually convert this into an uppercase as well so if i if i try to type all this all my name i type my name in a lowercase remember you can type all your names and there's nothing wrong with that i'm going to convert it okay so i'm trying to convert my entire name into a uppercase and i run this code you can see welcome to put your gadget or you can easily create a function that perform a task for you you want to check people's uh credentials before they log into a system you can write a simple function to be checking all those details and there's a lot you can do with functions you can add uh, retain keywords and other things you can easily create calculators so the final thing we're going to do the final work we're going to do with function is that let's create two numbers let's just get one two numbers number one and then two let's say we want to multiply two numbers okay we want to calculate the value of two numbers we can easily use a function to do that okay so i have two numbers those are my two two arguments so let me see 
a result. So the result is going to be, let's see, num1 times num2. Okay, so that is what we're going to do. We want to multiply two numbers this way. So basically, this is what we want to do. So let's see the multiplication of so let's say num1 and num2 is then we can easily append that so we can come here and now we can say result so if you can remember we put everything into our result keyword okay so i think what we're going to do is that we need to actually convert it into a string because our result is going to be an integer okay our result is going to be an integer okay i'm already seeing an error so our result is going to be an integer and then when we come here we can put in two numbers and then it should multiply those two numbers for us okay so let's look at how this is going to work okay so we can see if you multiply 2 by 4 you should be getting what 8 so i say the multiplication of num1 and num2 is 8 so remember to take note of some key things when you want to when you have a string and then you want to append an integer just try as much as possible to convert the integer into a string so that you don't so that you don't run into an error okay there are so many other amazing stuff we're going to be talking on this channel remember to subscribe so you don't miss all this goodies that i'm going to have for you in the near future thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial on functions and we're going to talk much into details how we can create our complex programs using functions and pythons and we'll be jumping very soon into data science data analysis with python and other amazing stuff coming up so continue to subscribe and hit the like button so that a lot of people can watch this video thank you so much bye bye